something yesterday was to acknowledge Anna Larson who was here yesterday. She was on our founding board in uh, 2009, 2008 and 9. Kim Koyama who was there yesterday and is here today was also on our board and out of the blue from nowhere comes Himi Sayed who was also on our founding board back in 2009. So welcome Himi and uh, welcome back to the other board members. Uh, I'm going to introduce, I'll ask them both to come up at the same time. Are there three of you coming up? Oh, okay, so I only know two of your names. <laughs> so I'll invite uh, Josephine Pletcher from Petcher, pardon me, I almost got it wrong, uh, from Unifor and Felipe Pareja from uh, Elementary Te Fe Teachers Federation of Ontario, the P local, and Kelly Martin. Kelly Martin, please. <laughs> My name is Josephine Petcher. I'm the Unifor Toronto Area Director. Can you hear me in the back? Yeah. Okay. It's great acoustics in here. Um, just wanted to say a couple of words. I mean, for those who aren't familiar with us, Unifor is the largest private sector union in Canada. We represent workers in nearly every sector of the economy, C to C to C. We also do support a number of community initiatives and community groups, worker organizations who are fighting for social justice throughout Canada, but also throughout the world. Um, and one thing that's great about being here today is I think it's incredibly important and it's very inspiring when workers can tell their own stories and their own voices. Um, that's, I mean, it's just, it's just amazing to support the festival. And whether it's workers who are fighting for compensation from, after being poisoned in their workplaces and fighting for their workers, fighting for their families and their communities, or fighting for a living wage and fair working conditions, humane working conditions, which a lot of us take for granted, but you know, I mean, it, it's, it's within, certainly within North America that that's happening as well as the rest of the world. So yeah, just, to, just wanted to say thank you so much. We're really honored to be able to sponsor the festival. You do fantastic work and solidarity. Uh, and my name is Felipe uh, Pereja from uh, Peel. I'm an elementary uh, grade eight French teacher from Peel, uh, from Mississauga. Uh, I'm also one of our released vice presidents in the Peel Teacher Local, of ETFO. Um, and this is my sister Kelly Martin, from also from the same local. Uh, our, our support of Cliff goes back a number of years, maybe five or six years, uh, when we first hosted the festival in the box uh, in our in the auditorium of our of our hall uh, in Mississauga. And ever since, we've been supporting the festival in, in whatever ways we, we can. Um, we're in, so, but this this experience here today is a first for us, and we're incredibly proud to be here uh, today with all of you. Um, and, and particularly proud to be co-presenting uh, Gla the Glasgow Women's Strike. Um, I don't know, Kelly, if you want. Yeah, uh, I mean, it's so about women who are looking for equity and fairness in pay, and that resonates with the Elementary Teachers Federation, especially when you have 80% are women, and you're always trying to ensure that everybody is included. We have a diverse population, we have a diverse culture, but more importantly, that everyone is getting a fair wage, and that we are being paid for what we should be. And these women struggled for years in the inability to even be recognized as people who should be getting a decent wage in relation to male counterparts with similar jobs. So that's 
the struggle we continue to fight. And um, in case you haven't heard, we have started job action in our own uh, employment due to the current government situation. But it is an honor, and um, thank you for having us here. Just before I invite the filmmaker to come up and uh, Natasha to come and say a few words, just a note about the very first screening held at uh, uh, the, the teachers out in Peel Local. What they did in their hall was they actually rented an old-fashioned popcorn machine. We had some Cliff popcorn bags from our very first year, so we brought that. It was just fabulous. Uh, it really had the movie experience, uh, the, the feeling. Now, I've kind of sort of known Natasha, or we have known each other, uh, or crossed paths for many, many years through, for me, through her mother, Brenda. Now, Natasha comes by her activism honestly on both sides of the family, both strong trade unionists. And whenever we'd meet, it would mostly be at conventions or conferences. So she has, she has credibility, she's got cred. Uh, she's got credentials. So making this movie, it's not just about making a movie, it's about understanding your, uh, the topic and understanding the, um, uh, the subject, right? the people, the human beings in there. And I think she, she really nailed it with this film. So please, just a few words, uh, Natasha. I forgot the name of the film, but I suspect <laughs> Natasha will let you know. <laughs> Everyone, uh, Town of Widows is the film, and thanks for the street cred. <laughs> um, I'm very happy to be here. Um, the labor community, the, how this film started is me speaking to the camera about this issue. Um, and really the labor community is who helped to make this happen. Um, so I'm very grateful to that community and to Cliff uh, as well for showing this film. It's amazing to see that it's playing all over Canada, it's playing in the Yukon, um, it's playing all over Canada um, in different venues and hopefully mobilizing workers and showing them uh, what's possible in their own communities and, and what's also not right in their own communities. Um, so Roger is here and he's one of the, the superstars of the film and so if anyone has any questions after, I'm not the pro, uh, Roger is the pro and we also have another pro who is Rob Viscardis, and he is who uh, shot the film, who edited the film, and who helped direct it. So um, it's been a small but mighty team, and uh, the CBC were lucky enough that they, they took this on, and um, what started as, as me speaking to myself in a, in a room uh, with my phone um, <laughs> has become this amazing project, and it's because of the support of the labor community, and my friends and family, and the workers, and the widows. So thank you. Uh, before we get to before we get to me, <laughs> Carol. Um, as Michelle said, uh, with us being able to all the fundraising that was done and being able to pay the artists, which was a really important thing that we, that Cliff has always wanted to do, we really want to thank the sponsors. So the Canadian Office of the Machinists. PSAC, the Public Service Alliance of Canada, BCGEU, uh, the Society of United Professionals, CWA, Unifor National Office, IATSE Local 58, QP, and the Peel Elementary Teachers Local. So we really, really thank our sponsors. Uh, just uh, one, uh, two, I guess, quick reminders before we move on to the films. The first is, um, you should all have one of these green forms. There are Canadian films in this block of films and then in the second block today. So don't, uh, with apologies Natasha, <laughs> don't uh, mark your ballot until you've seen, if you're staying on for the remainder of the day, don't mark your ballot until you've seen uh, the second block of films. But you may want to rank the, uh, the films that you have seen. Uh, and leave your ballot with us uh, before you go this afternoon. Uh, I also wanted to remind you that outside, um, and this picks up on the, uh, uh, the theme you may have noticed in our uh, board member chats uh, <laughs> as we introduce uh, the festival. Uh, outside we've got some, uh, I think, because most of them came out of my basement, uh, some uh, wonderful items that we're raffling off uh, also to assist us with fundraising. And so if you haven't seen them already, they're on a table outside. Do take a look and uh, the tickets are very reasonably priced at $2 each or three, four, five. And that, 
uh, believe it or not, is all I have to say. Enjoy the films, <laughs> put your uh, feet up. I hope you all have some, or some of you have some popcorn, because uh, you're in for a real treat over the next hour and a half or so. Thanks. I think we're just about ready to go, but uh, as a reminder, please, if you have to leave the theater during